Question 5.2 consists of two finance questions that were designed to assess your understanding of exchange rates. You are given a scenario where it is established that it costs 280,000 Rand to relocate a family of four to New Zealand. Two types of work visas are required for Soraya and her husband. A skilled migrant visa that costs 2,093 euros for Soraya and a visa for entrepreneurs that costs 4,745 New Zealand dollars for her husband. You are also given an exchange rate table for the different currencies. In question 5 to 1, you have to determine the exchange rate of the New Zealand dollar in terms of the euro on the 3rd of September 2021 in the form of 1 New Zealand dollar to euros. From the table, 1 South African Rand equals 0 0.0969907 New Zealand dollars. Also, 1 South African Rand equals 0 0.0581765 euros. So this means that you can say that 0 0.0969907 New Zealand dollars equals 0 0.0581765 euros. Dividing both sides of this equation by 0 0.0969907, you will get an exchange rate of New Zealand dollar to euro of 1 New Zealand dollar to 0 0.59981524 euros. In question 522, you have to calculate to the nearest 100 rand the total cost of the two visas that they will require on the 3rd of September 2021. From the table, 1 South African Rand equals 0 0.0581765 euros. So the skilled migrant visa will cost 2,093 euros divided by 0 0.0581765. This will give you a cost of 35,976 Rand 73 cents. From the table, 1 South African Rand equals 0 0.0969907 New Zealand dollars. So the entrepreneurial visa will cost 4,745 New Zealand dollars divided by 0 0.0969907. And this will give you a cost of 48,922 Rand 22 cents. The total cost of the two visas is 35,976 Rand 73 cents plus 48,922 Rand 22 cents and this equal a total cost of 84,898 Rand 95 cents. Rounding this value off to the nearest 100 Rand will give you a total cost of 84,900 Rand. Question 5.3 consists of two questions that were designed to assess your understanding of data handling in relation to data representation. You are presented with two graphs on Annex D that represents the monthly exchange rate of the Chinese Yuan to the US dollar from July 2020 to December 2020. The same set of data was used to draw both of these graphs. In question 531, you have to state with a reason which graph a Chinese citizen would use to explain that his country's currency is strengthening against the US dollar over a six-month period. Analyzing the two graphs, we see that graph A appears to show a sharp decline in the US dollar against the Chinese yuan. The reason a Chinese person would use this graph to explain that his country's currency is getting stronger against the US dollar is that it is clear to see that as the months go by, it costs less Chinese yen to buy one US dollar. In question 532, it is stated that the same set of data was used to draw graph A and graph B. You have to give a valid reason why the graphs look different. The reason these graphs look so different is because different scales were used to draw each of these graphs. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can check out this video next.